Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, your Melon Fest, na mag-iiwan na naman ang mahalagang impormasyon para sa ating buhay financial. For today's video, we talk about how to create our financial plan. So, lahat po tayo meron tayong plano sa ating buhay. At meron din tayong plano para sa ating financial. So, ano nga ba yung mga dapat nating gawin? At step by step, how to create our financial planning. First, we need to do, syempre, dapat alamin natin ano nga ba yung gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo um, after 5 years or 10 years from now. So, ano yung mga dreams mo na gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo at ano yung paglalaanan mo ng financial mo to achieve it. Karamihan sa atin, uh, gusto natin magkaroon ng maayos na retirement, magkaroon ng maayos na bahay, or makapag-aral yung ating magiging mga anak, or mabili yung ating mga gustong bilhin during our retiring days. Yan ang gustong gusto nating ma-achieve, kaya nagsusumikap tayo magtrabaho. Ngayon na malakas pa lang tayo kasi gusto natin someday na maranasan natin na magkaroon naman ng maayos na buhay. Second na dapat natin gawin after malaman natin yung mga wants natin or gusto nating mangyari sa ating financial is kailangan natin itong isulat. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga gusto natin? Kailangan natin isulat. Like for example, uh, gusto mo ng dream house, so isulat mo yon uh, Gusto mo ng retirement na maayos, so isulat mo yon Gusto mo magkaroon ng emergency fund, so isulat mo yon Gusto mo magkaroon ng investment, so isusulat mo yon Bakit po kailangan natin itong isulat sa isang papel? Kasi hindi po pwede na atin lang itong iisipin. Wala po mangyayari kung isip lang tayo ng isip kung ano yung nais natin gawin. So, kailangan po meron tayong So, kailangan po meron tayong blueprint about sa ating financial plan. Once na nasulat na natin, so the third step na dapat natin gawin is lagyan po natin ng pondo. So, lagyan natin ng percentage amount kung ilan nga ba yung ating dapat ilagay dun sa ating ginawang financial plan. Let me show you my financial plan example. So, first we need to do is to input our salary. So, 100% of our salary, like for example, uh, we have 10,000 every month or every cut-off. So, I use an every cut-off, like for example. So, I have their tithes. So, 10% of our salary is tithes. So, according to our budgeting formula, we need to give first a 10% of our income to the Lord. So, 10% is 1,000 goes to the charge. So next is retirement funds. So I have a retirement fund. I give 20% to my retirement fund. So I have 2,000 gives to my retirement fund in Kaiser Health Group. So next I have an emergency fund. So 10% of my salary goes to my emergency fund. So 10% of my 10,000 is 1,000. So I give it to Cebuana earlier. So, that's my prepared savings account sa aking emergency fund para uh, our emergency fund is dapat easy to get during the emergency. Next is, I have an investment. So, I give 10% on my investment. So, the 10% of 10,000 is 1,000. So, my 1,000 is I give to Solvivo Strategic Growth Fund. So, Solvivo is one of the mutual fund who buying shares in the stock in the stock market so next is expenses so i give 50 percent of my salary on my expenses so that 50 percent of 10,000 is 5,000 so my 5,000 is my expenses dito namin pinukuha yung aming mga kailangan at mga bibili namin in our daily lives this is the example of my financial plan so, if you want to create your financial plan, so we need to know first kung ano nga ba yung gusto mo. And next, kailangan mong isulat ito. And next, once na isulat mo ito, is kailangan mong lagyan ng budget. Next pa number four is kailangan mong ilagay kung saan mo siya dapat ilagay. Kung sa bank ba, or at your home, or etc. Kung saan mo dapat siya pwede ilagay. 
I create another video also for this kind of company na pinagalagyan ko ng aking retirement fund, emergency fund, and investment fund. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll find this video informative. Don't forget to click the like, shares, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell button for your update. Thank you so much.